se om vi kan flygte herfra. <laughs> det er altid en god ting, hvis man kan det i hvert fald. Nu når vi slår alle vagterne ihjel. Det skal nok lykkes. Og ja, går du heller den anden vej. Ja, det er spændende. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. Ikke noget vand. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts and a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. Mm. I've always known. Oh, I was saying, no, you can't. I don't care, Rick. None of that matters without cell sorts to hire. I don't care. And all the companies around here are engaged. Mm. Men, when they can get them. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. Mm. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. Mm. No, he'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. <laughs> right. The Vega Cigar has. I let Luca. I'm a bit afraid he knows. I'm a bit afraid he's smart and he This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine. Shit. What? I know that. Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. So, it'll be a then. <laughs> det så ikke noget. Ponte Renas. Jon Kai Hanon Josi Botagon Kostoti da Or. Ja, men. Det skal jeg så ikke opdage os. Det skal nok klare os. Achoo. Ui. Jeg tænker, det var bedst. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. Det kan man selvfølgelig have ret i. <laughs> you did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. Ej, jeg godt. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. Jeg godt lide, når jeg gør tingene rigtigt. <laughs> It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forrester will not survive to see winter. Yeah. I saw we all live. Do the first day. Mira Forrester e King's Landing. Nu er vi stadig pønser på lidt af hvert. Det er vel kulddrengen, som jeg nu kalder ham. Åh, oh, der er sket noget. Uh -uh. Jeg tænker, det er en dårlig idé, men vi skal nok derind. Jeg kan i hvert fald ikke andet end at gå derhen. Hvad finder vi? Jeg tænker ikke, det er godt. Det 
lægger en sædel på. Så er der nok ikke nogen derinde. Øh, åbner jeg bare lige stille. Nå, oh, det er mit rum. Ja, okay. Et værelse. Jeg tror, det er ham der kul... kuldrengen, der har været over og ligge den der. Jeg beklager for min øh, snøften her, men jeg har simpelthen fået så meget allergi, så det er jo dejligt. Eller noget. Hvorfor skulle jeg egentlig kigge i den? Det er jo fuldstændig ligegyldigt. Everything's still here. Ja. Det var nemlig det, jeg havde regnet ud. Ja. Det behøver vi ikke, det råder. Det er det, vi kan se. Lad os se, hvad der er på den der. Meget dramatisk, inden hun tabler dem op. I have information that will aid you with the M. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Vi skal med kul, eller hvad? Nej. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, well, there. <coughs> that should last through stand. Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. We'll be fine, Mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> My lord, you might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir... That was never in question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. Just remember that she'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. Hmm. I'm just so glad to see you home. I mean, that's our question. My lord, she's here. Oh yeah. Let's see who we should be charming now for. With hell and sick. Roderick. Yips. See you. Mm. You look. Welcome to Iron Ruff, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? <laughs> It's good to see you too. Hello. They were my god. Please. In the middle, god. Det er selvfølgelig også første og eneste ting, vi lige kunne indtil videre i hvert fald. Så må vi se, om jeg kan få noget af det her. So, kan det være charmerende? Vi er her. Du ser så beautiful som ever, Elena. Oh, thank you. Jeg mm. satte ud for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. Min far oh. suggested I wait, but... Jeg kan ikke tro, at det har været to år. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you really? And please, mm. be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't lie. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine... This cannot go. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide and seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always hid behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. This would have gone right away. But Roderick... I, um... I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with soldiers. White Hill soldiers. Mm -hmm. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Guess why, really. Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Yeah. Bruce Bolton Me. must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to show our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... 
My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. Hmm. He wants me to call it off. What? The money. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. And I can love the man you are. But my family can't get drawn into a war with the Boltons. They're the Wardens of the North. And they flay their enemies. You and I can overcome anything. I once thought so too. You got me here? I have to be practical. Lena. It doesn't matter how we feel. How can I ask my father to risk everything? It's really right here. Even for you. Because I love you, Elena. Roderick. I wish that was enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, no. But I have to think of my family. I'm going to tell father the betrothal is off. If it helps, we can delay the announcement. It'll give you time to get your affairs in order. Deepest apologies, my lord. I tried to stop him, but so, it... no, no. the rumors are true. You have no right to just. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. My father has not yet made a decision. Well, for what it's worth. You can do much better than this cripple. And my son Griff needs a bride. Get out. Now. How rude of you. Your mother's the one who invited me here. I did That's not true. I sent a raven to Lord Whitehill about letting Brian attend the funeral. But I never expected him to barge in like this. Oh, she practically begged me to come. Of course, I'd want the same in her position. The youngest son hung to mourn his dead father and brother. If you vote Ryan in any way... Spare me the threats, Roderick. He's fine. I just want to be certain that you know your place. Lord Ramsay ordered your family to obey my soldiers until my son <laughs> Griff arrives from Hall. But now I hear you're threatening them. It makes me start to question your obedience. Lord... Enough of this. Fine. Let's talk this through. How about I talk and you fucking listen? Man has some tendency to come to us very sure to them here, because we will be very sure to make a fresh start. You and I. Okay, but I know God is his thing. Your brother Ethan was a dismissive little shit, but you're a different man entirely, aren't you? So, if you want Ryan at that funeral. Sure, Lady Elena, you respect your betters. Kneel and kiss my shiny ring. Nope. Just do it, Roderick. You don't want to end up like your brother, do you? Please. It means nothing, and we'll get to see Ryan again. Okay. We got it. Yeah, I'm out for it. And slow my word. Nästan så jag har. Very good. Now then, since you're a loyal subject, I'll need you to pay me a tribute. Right. I'm taking what should have been mine in the first place. The other half. Of the Ironwood Forest. You can't Ramsay do that. Snow said... I know what Ramsay said. I'm saying something else. As of today, I harvest Ironwood from wherever the fuck I please. And you can't do a bloody thing to stop me. Would you defy an express order from House Bolton? I've known Roose Bolton my whole life. I play a little bit more than Ironwood, he won't care. Especially when I tell him you've sworn to obey me. That was a sign of respect, not an oath. Well, I have what I came for. I'll leave you to your business. Yes, much, I'm afraid. I hope I fall out here. It's going to be my most dark scene now. By the way, uh, my men have a name for you, Roderick 
The Ruined. Isn't that clever? Nej. Det skulle ikke særlig kloge. I can't believe you would submit to him like that. I know you had your reasons, but... He doesn't deserve your obedience. I did it for Ryan. Maybe I'd have done the same. Det går ikke særlig godt med der. Åh, ja. Det er synd for mig. My lord. My lord. Are you well? I'm going to kill that man. Sådan. 